Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to realistically create an outside reflection on a window and show someone on the inside through the glass. I provided this window frame for you to download as well as the sunset image that we'll use as the reflection. The links to these images are located in my video's description or project files. Open a photo of a subject that you'd like to see through the window. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock.com. The first step is to open the window frame image and press Z on your keyboard to open your zoom tool. Drag it over one of the window panes to zoom into it. Open your pen tool and choose Path. If you're working on version CS5 or earlier, the Path icon is here. Click on a corner of the glass and release. Go to the next corner of the glass and click to make a path connecting both corners. Release and click on the next corner. Continue until you click on the first corner to close the path. I did an in-depth tutorial on how to create complex paths with the pen tool, so if you'd like to watch it, I provided that link as well. To move the image over to see your next window pane, Press and hold the space bar as you drag your image over. Repeat the same steps to make a path over the glass pane. Once you've drawn paths over all the panes, open your Paths panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Paths. Control click or Command click on the thumbnail to make a selection of the paths. To fit your entire document back on your canvas, Press Ctrl or Command-0. To ensure that the selections are completely covering the glass panes, we'll slightly expand the selections. But first, open back your Layers panel. Go to Select, Modify, and Expand. Expand it by one pixel. Go back to Select, Modify, and Feather. Feather it one pixel. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I, and then press Ctrl or Command J to cut the window frame from the glass panes. Hide the background, and open the sunset image I provided or you can open your own image for the reflection. Let's convert it into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To move it onto the window frame document, press V to open your Move tool and drag it onto the tab of the window frame. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the image and release. In the Layers panel, Drag it below the window frame. Outside reflections on windows tend to be distorted, so open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. To see the transform's entire bounding box, press Ctrl or Command 0. Let's zoom out a bit more by pressing Ctrl or Command and the minus key on your keyboard. Go to a bottom corner and press and hold Ctrl-Alt-Shift on Windows or Command-Option-Shift on a Mac as you drag the corner outward. To reposition it, just go inside the transform and drag it. To reduce or enlarge it, go to a corner and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in or out. To skew it, go to the middle point on one of the sides and press and hold Ctrl or Command as you drag it up. When you're happy with its size, position, and distortion, press Enter or Return. Then, fit it back onto your canvas. Window reflections are often blurred when photographed due to the particular focal length of the camera's lens, so go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. For the size and resolution of this document, 
I'll make the blur radius 3 pixels. Once we add the person through the glass panes, we want to see on the person the darker areas of the window's reflection. To do this, make a copy of the reflection by pressing Ctrl or Command J. To hide all the other layers except the reflection copy, Alt click or Option click on the eyeball icon next to the reflection copy. Go to Select and Color Range. Select Shadows. Make the range 0 and the fuzziness between 50 to 60 percent. Then click OK. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the reflection copy. Change its Blend Mode to Luminosity and reduce its opacity to 40%. Hide the reflection copy and make the original reflection layer visible as well as the top window frame layer. Open the photo of the person you'd like to place behind the window. Convert it to a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To automatically adjust its brightness and contrast, press Ctrl or Command Shift L to invoke Autotone. Next, we'll separate the person from the background by making a selection around the person. There are many ways to make selections and your choice should depend on the characteristics of your photo. For this example, I'll use the Quick Selection tool with a radius of 10 pixels. If you're using this tool as well, its radius amount should depend on your photo's size and resolution. Drag the tool over your subject to select it and click the Refine Edge button or go to Select and Refine Edge. I did an in-depth tutorial on Refine Edge, so if you'd like to watch it, I provided that link as well. Check Smart Radius and slide the radius a bit to the right. If the hair on your subject is very wispy, brush over the edge of the hair. In this case, the hair is short, so it's not necessary to brush over it. Check Decontaminate Colors and slide the amount to approximately 75%. Output it as a new layer and click OK. To move it into the window frame document, as before, press V to open your move tool and drag it onto the tab of the window frame. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the image and then release. Open your transform tool to resize and reposition it. Fit the transform onto your canvas to resize it. When you're happy with its size and position, press Enter or Return, and then fit it back onto your canvas. Reduce its opacity to 95% to slightly see the reflection on the person. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask next to your subject. Click the Adjustment Layer icon, and click Brightness Contrast. To restrict the adjustment layer to affect only your subject, click the Clipping Mask icon or press Ctrl-Alt-G on Windows or Command-Option-G on a Mac. Slide the contrast to approximate the contrast of the rest of your image. To adjust its brightness, slide the brightness to the left or right. To give the person a color cast that's similar to the color of the reflection, click the Adjustment Layer icon again and click Photo Filter. If you're working on a version of Photoshop that doesn't have this filter, you can use Color Balance. Click the Clipping Mask icon to clip it to your subject and click on each of the filters until you found one that blends your subject into the background. For this example, I'll click Orange and increase its density to 50%. Next, we'll make the areas of your subject fade into the background. Click the Layer Mask next to your subject to make it active. Open your Brush Tool 
and brush picker. We'll adjust the size in a moment. Make sure the hardness is 0%, then press Enter or Return. To make your brush bigger or smaller, press the right or left bracket keys on your keyboard. Brush over areas of your subject that are further away from the glass. The further they are, the more transparent they should look. If you want to restore back opacity, press X on your keyboard and brush over those areas. Press V to open your Move tool so it'll be easier to navigate your cursor over your document. Let's slide the Layers panel down so we can see all the layers. Make your top reflection layer visible and drag it between the adjustment layers and the window frame. I'd like to slide down the reflection so the dark areas on the bottom don't cover his face. If you want to reposition your reflection, drag the top reflection back down over the other one and shift click on the bottom reflection to make it active as well. Either use your move tool to drag it to a new position or, as in this example, I'll just press the down arrow on my keyboard. Click the top reflection to make it active and drag it back up just below the window frame. I'd like to increase the transparencies of the dark reflection on the subject's arms as well as the subject himself. To do this, I'll decrease the opacity of the top reflection to 30%, make the subject active, and decrease its opacity to 80%. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.